Once a week a satellite falls back to Earth, mostly burning up in the atmosphere. It'll be Aeolus any day now. It's the size of a car, almost out of fuel, and some debris will reach the planet's surface. Now for the first time, the European Space Agency will attempt to steer the spacecraft away from people and into the ocean. It would be much, much smaller than the, the risk of being struck by lightning, for example, if we did nothing. And now what we're trying to attempt is to improve it by 42 times. Aeolus is orbiting 174 miles above the Earth, but on Monday it will fire its rocket thrusters to bring it down to 155 and then in stages through the week to a height of 75 miles. On Friday it will plunge into the atmosphere with any surviving fragments landing in the Atlantic. Satellites are now designed for their demise, built to minimise the amount of debris that makes its way back through the atmosphere. But there are still around 3,000 spacecraft in orbit that no longer work, and the challenge is to make space more sustainable. The space industry is planning missions to refuel satellites, extending their working life to reduce the risks from debris. Our mission at Astroscale is to make in-orbit servicing routine by 2030. So we've got ambitious plans. There's many other companies that are working on similar types of uh, services as part of this ecosystem. So it's, it's not tomorrow, but it's not that far away. Space is increasingly crowded and the risk of a collision is growing. The European Space Agency says it's taking responsibility for its junk and others should do the same. Thomas Moore, Sky News.